Welcome to ASQ TV, where we're creating a global view of quality. In this episode, we explore the worldwide effect of quality on people. The United Arab Emirates' path to quality, teaching quality around the world, and if quality has anything to do with luck. Quality impacts the world far beyond the manufacturing floor or conference room. Expert Joel Tietelbaum says all aspects of human activity worldwide, from education to life itself, are affected by quality. As everyone should know, if you don't know yet, quality is the main energy that world needs to arrive to a better state of life. Begins from quality of life, goes to quality of teaching and learning, quality of environment, quality infrastructure, quality in all the activities of the human being. Annette Gernard of the Flemish Quality Management Center says many European organizations encourage the entire workforce to be responsible for quality. But what we see is that a lot of managers in companies, they all take a bit care of quality in the broad sense of the word. It's not exclusively the quality manager, it's the human resources manager, it's the plant manager. We see that it the titles that people have is not just quality manager anymore. Bengt Nordstrom of the Swedish Institute for Quality says quality is an extremely adaptable resource and tool. There are so much in common in healthcare, in industry, in education, in the public sector, in the private sector to learn from each other. Because when it comes to quality management, you're doing the same thing. I'm traveling around quite a lot in Sweden and one day I'm in a K-12 school talking about quality. Next day I'm in the leadership group for top management in a big com company and I have the same discussion, they have the same questions, so uh, they have a lot to learn from each other. 20 years ago the United Arab Emirates or UAE embarked on a quality journey. As the Middle Eastern nation became a service and knowledge-based economy, UAE's leaders aimed to make the country competitive through a variety of quality initiatives. Known as the Drive for Quality, these programs improved productivity, customer experience and UAE's ranking in the world. The initiatives included the Dubai Government Excellence Program to improve government services and simplify procedures. Many services, such as renewing a license plate, are now available online and through mobile devices and tablets. Implementing ISO 9001, the International Quality Management Systems Standard, gave UAE organizations a framework for making improvements. Adopting health, safety and environmental management standards such as ISO 14001 and OSAS 18001. The Dubai Quality Award, recognizing companies for their commitment to best practices. This award is inspired by the US-based Malcolm Baldridge National Quality Award and the European Foundation for Quality Management Model. The Dubai Service Excellence Scheme to improve shopping experiences in Dubai and promote excellent customer service in retail. The program includes principles such as transparent pricing and even a mystery shopping program to monitor compliance. And a Master of Quality Management degree, providing a formal education in quality and excellence to hundreds of students in the UAE. In 2012, the country's ranking in the Global Competitive Index improved from 37 to 19 out of 148 nations. And in 2013, UAE was ranked the 14th happiest nation out of the 156 by the United Nations. To learn more about other quality initiatives in the UAE, read the full case study at the link below. Different cultures look at quality through different lenses. In the QP article, Show of Hands, author Xu Lu discusses how to teach quality in cultures other than your own. Engaging students in classroom discussions can be particularly difficult with different cultures and languages at play. To help ensure successful participation and knowledge sharing, Lu suggests some ground rules. Listen actively and attentively. Ask for clarification if you're confused. Do not interrupt. Challenge each other respectfully. Support opinions with evidence. And if you're offended, acknowledge it immediately. Read QP to see all of Lou's ground rules. We live in a globalized economy, but cultural superstitions can affect how we do business. For example, many people in the United States fear bad luck on Friday the 13th. In fact, according to one study reported on in the New Yorker magazine, stock market returns are far lower on Fridays 
that fall on the 13th. Meanwhile, some people in East Asian countries fear the number four. Another study found in China, trade brokers prefer to postpone international trade decisions on the fourth day of each month. What brings you good or bad luck? Well, regardless of superstition, quality methods can help organizations around the world make sound business decisions, but it never hurts to have a little something to believe in. Thanks for joining us for this episode of ASQ TV. Next time, we'll meet award-winning quality improvement teams. Thank <laughs> you.